Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Oma. Uh, you guys. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we are just hanging out around the house. What are you guys doing? Anything fun? Um, yeah. I did get a happy mail. This is from Martha. Hi, Martha. Hi, Martha. <laughs> she sent some really fun goodies. So, a little envelope. And, like, some fun little papers in here. I did open it because, you know, you have to open it, wash your hands, and all that stuff. <laughs> so, I went ahead and opened it. And then I washed my hands. Uh, I tell you, is anyone else just having um, like really dry skin? And for some reason, my lotion has disappeared. Oh, there it is. Never mind, I found it. <laughs> uh, I kind of have a headache today. But you guys know I have a headache every day. So this is Shut up. <laughs> This is cute, Martha. <laughs> I did get it. I just waited a little while to tell her to stick it. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, I actually got it. I just a cute little pocket. To... That's cute. Try not to acknowledge it. Martha has been watching us for a while, and she wanted to send us some happy mail. Isn't that sweet? And then she sent these, and when I first saw these, I was thinking, what are they? Because I hadn't seen this part yet. So I was thinking, you know, that could be like a, a tab, but it's even more awesome than what I expected. But she sent me a whole bunch of those. So thank you, Martha. Those are awesome. Oh, and look, she has a little Tim Holtz guy on there. Super cute. You guys are so sweet to think of us. And, you know, it just brightens our day, especially in this time. In fact, I might send out some happy mail to people. Kind of, I don't know why it just affected me today for some reason. But let me show you what she did. So these are teeny tiny envelopes, which is absolutely adorable. Just kind of. So I don't know if she has a punch or a die that does these. Martha, what do you have? Or, you know, is this something that you just purchased online or but isn't that adorable cute little envelope I love those you guys know I love anything tiny like that super super cute it almost looks like a die but I don't know that is so cute thank you Martha that was so sweet of you to think of us so, beautiful goodies, and I really want to put some of these in my tiny book. So, that's what we're going to work on today is the tiny journal. Um, Clint was going to do a video, and he probably will for tomorrow's video. I, uh, for some reason I just didn't sleep very good. Oh, I fell asleep again on my arm. And then it's like hurting so bad, so I can't sleep. And I came in here and fell back asleep. After I got up this morning, like at 3, and I laid wrong, and now my neck's kind of hurting. <laughs> Never ending with me, I tell you. Oh, it's just, you know, everything going on, we're not, nothing's going on really with, um, directly with me, but, you know, my friends and stuff, things are going on with them, and it's just heartbreaking. So, but we're not going to talk about it. Uh, let's see, um, lace, we're going to use some lace because this whole project is kind of like using up your scraps, and so I wanted to kind of use up some of my lace scraps, like here's some lace, and, you know, just kind of pull it all together using fun laces and things like that, I thought that would be really fun. Oh, we have to work tomorrow. We have at least one job. I don't know if we have more than that, but 
We need you. Come on. Because people think we're indispensable. Or what is it? Essential. That's the word. Oh. So. So let's just kind of see what we can do with the pieces I've pulled. I thought it'd be kind of fun to just put like lace on some of the edges. Change this. It looks like critter's been up here, probably. Oh, I still have yellow in here from, you know, the other day. And I'll see about, see about sewing. But yeah, Clint was going to do some, a video and... <clears throat> like I said, he'll probably, you know, do something later for you guys. It's almost April, so, and our design team for Shabby Dabby Doodah project is due in April, so that will be fun. He's got quite a few things planned for that. He's really had some fun ideas. So this was kind of gathered and I kind of like it more when it's flat so I'm just cutting that one piece off that keeps it gathered and we shall see what happens huh the chickens are laying more eggs so at least what two two extra a day I think right now we have a lot of chickens but um, I'm not sure what was going on with them but you know you know. So what I'm going to do is kind of just layer this and just put a little bit of glue. And I'm just using my art glitter glue. That's my favorite. And I'm going to take my meat cleaver out a little later and have a talk. <laughs> with the chickens? Yeah. <laughs> Clint said he's going to take his meat cleaver and show it to them. <laughs> That's funny. Times are tough. You better got better start giving those eggs. <laughs> he actually said um, when we were grocery shopping, he said, "Oh, I meant to buy some eggs," and I said, "We are not buying eggs. We have chickens. They need to just give us the eggs." <laughs> because especially with me being on Weight Watchers, um, eggs are free. You know, so zero points. And so I eat a lot of eggs right now. But I'm kind of foregoing them because the chickens aren't laying very well. So, that was funny though. Maybe like a belly band or something or just a big old pocket. Maybe not on that one though. That takes up the whole picture. Maybe this one. <clears throat> But yeah, it's just, uh, I tell you, Clint's been funny all morning, which you guys know, that's just his personality. He's a nut. Aren't ya? Who, me? No. Of course you. Oh. The baby has, man, he has been running as fast as he could from one end to the house to the other for, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> Wound up. He so wound up. He really needs a, a nap. I think he's probably settling down. <laughs> well, that's what you think. You don't think he is? He's oh, not. Oh no, him and Bubby are wrestling in the kitchen. <laughs> so this piece didn't quite reach, so I'm just going to glue this down. And that's okay. And then we'll going to sew right there. Make it work. Still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this one. I ha like I said, I ha have an idea. Because we're fixing to hit a milestone on the channel. So that will be kind of fun. But I hope you guys are all well. Just tell them we're doing pretty good. We're people are still calling us to locate. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and where's that one? I just put the lace on, wasn't it? This one. 
where'd my lace go? No good grief. <laughs> I didn't even see it fall off. Unless it's on the other side, but I don't think it is. Uh, that makes absolutely no sense. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, one of these days, I tell you guys. I made pancakes for breakfast. And they're a high point item. You know, compared to eggs. I think my pancake was nine points. And that didn't even include, like, syrup or anything. And I only get, like, 20... 23 points a day. But I only eat half of what I normally eat. So what I'm going to do is... Let's go ahead and start sewing this a little bit right here. It was a little bit longer. So, I'm just, I think I'm going to do a zigzag right here. And then I'll just do, you know, around. Uh-oh. Oh, Jazzy Lynn. Do what, Daddy? Oh, that's always fun. Then, oh. You okay, Jazz? Jazz? <laughs> You're kind of clutchy, aren't you, Jazz? She didn't even have far to jump, and then she just, like, did one, a ping pong ball kind of thing. Boing, She's, yeah. like, hitting this side, then that side, then this side. She's okay. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> oh, I tell you guys, if you don't have cats, you're missing out. <laughs> well, they are entertaining. <laughs> Trina, Trina, she's one of our subbies, and she told me I need to get another cat. I told Clint that last night, and he's like, oh, heck no. No. <laughs> Got enough. Yeah. Oh, definitely have enough. We're hoping the food gets here on time, and <laughs> everyone's safe. Otherwise, I might be feeding them eggs, and then I still won't have any eggs. <laughs> I tell you guys, it's an experience, that's for sure. Telling them how we're essential and yeah. people are thinking they need us. Well, and the thing is, the schools are closed, you know, so everyone's like, we gotta work when the schools are closed. And so they're really calling us for locates and stuff because there's no kids in the school. Let's see, that's cute. Just a kind of little pocket thing. It's just, like I said, I'm just kind of. Just putting stuff in that, you know, maybe I normally wouldn't or whatever. Let's do this one and see what we can come up with. Oh, yeah, that was a pocket, wasn't it? Forgot I was going to put that in. That one has one, too, or it should. Hopefully it's in there somewhere. Might be out. But, yeah, we just... Clint and I just, you know, we just live our life, I guess, like we always do. <laughs> our life doesn't change that much. It's not like we have, you know, tons of things to do or anything. Nope. Uh, <clears throat> this time of year, it's always, we're kind of always hanging out at home, so it's not like a horrible, a horrible thing or even different than normal, you know. That's just what we do. Get up early, take a nap. <laughs> yep, pretty much. That's our life, huh, Daddy? Sure is, and I hear that thing. Bed calling you? Bed calling me or Grandpa's chair. One or the other. 
<laughs> he's taken to sleeping in the recliner in here, but his little girl doesn't ever come out, so for the nap time, and he knows that she loves her naps with Daddy. Yeah. I'm going to make a fabric flip with that. So he's kind of <clears throat> taking turns with her, and uh, he'll be like, oh, we slept in the living room yesterday, so now, today, we'll sleep in the, take Dad. a nap in the bedroom, yeah. so that sister isn't left out, yeah. and <laughs> she, loves she lives for nap. She just, that's her, you know, it's just me and daddy time. Yep. Yeah. In here, Clint was laying in the recliner yesterday, and I looked over and he had like four cats laying on top of him. <laughs> it's kind of the newness, I think, because he just started doing that, and so they're like, Ooh, Daddy. Ooh, what's Daddy doing right here? Hi, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I lay on the the uh, love seat. We don't have a couch, really. It's just a love seat. And I got up to go to the bathroom. There was no one on the couch on the love seat. No one. I came back. There was three cats laying there like, we've been here all day. Like, I know you weren't there all day. <laughs> Stinkers. Yeah. So I moved them back over to Daddy. <laughs> it was really quite quite humorous. I'm like, really? I didn't uh, notice. I was sound asleep. I know you were, and that was funny. But when you first lay down, though, it, yeah, you had a a group of oh, I know. a group of little kitties. They're like, mm-hmm. Daddy's going to be in here, and we're going to love on him. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, it's hard a lot of times to lay with me in here where he doesn't stay in the bedroom as much anymore. No, he doesn't, which is odd. I don't know. It's, so, yeah, when he lays in the bedroom, it's just Pard and Chloe. And then about five minutes after they go take a nap, Clint's letting Pard out because he sits there and he just wants his treats. <laughs> yeah, I feel so used. He's like, mm mm, I'm good, Daddy. Give me my treats. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that he really wants to take a nap. He's just, uh, wants his treats. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to use that. Once in a blue moon, he'll stay in there. Well, and he used to stay in there in the, like, summertime as long as. The air was off because he got he gets cold, and so I don't know why he's not staying in there now. Yeah, I don't either. Unless it's just too cold. It could, I, I don't it's know. Not very warm bedroom. Let's face facts. It's really yeah. It's really chilly. It was chilly. 54 the night, day before I laid down. Yeah, it was 54 degrees in there, which isn't that bad, you know. When you're, we don't have central heat or anything like that, so we just kind of have a little individual heater for in there and maybe he's just too cold which is possible I think that might be a lot of it cause... but yeah it was just kind of like but you can hear him and then he'll come out here and then he'll be like mama I want to go in and see daddy mama and I'm like okay so I put him back in there and then Clint's like would you quit putting him in here <laughs> actually he's pretty good he says but about the third time he's like okay I've had enough <laughs> Because he's like, I want daddy, I want daddy. And Clint's always like, oh, if he wants me, then go ahead and just let him in, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't work that way very, no. <laughs> very often. Because after about the third time, he's like, okay, he doesn't want in here. Quit putting him in. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm not going to put him in anyway. <laughs> the good thing about this is we... um. I'm not using any specific color, so I can, you know, kind of mix and match. So that's kind of fun. Boy, I tell you, I needed this crafting. Being with you guys, it was just, I've been on Facebook too long, too much today. Yeah, that'll do it. All the dreariness, you know. When well, people are just so mean to each other. I mean, even like my, you know, even my friends and stuff are... You know, 
biting at each other's throats and stuff. And I'm like, really? Is that necessary? Because I don't like that, you know. Nope. I just want everyone to get along. But I know where the delete button is, so I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to listen yeah. to it. But I'm thinking, ah, is that necessary? Do you have to be hateful? I think I want this one. And they're not horrible, but sometimes you're just like, yeah. That's kind of cute. I like that. And maybe blue. Let's see what kind of. I really do like using up, you know, what I have in here. My scraps. I don't think they're ever going to go down. Green. Maybe this one. I don't know where I got this, but. Oh, I think my friend made it for me. Yeah, let's do that. She sent me some pieces at Christmas time. I think it was Christmas. I don't know. One time anyways. That will be cute. I think I'm going to go ahead and sew on the lace and then use this. Just glue that on. I think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll make some snippets or something. Like Gail does, you know, where she uses lace and things like that. Okay, I think I want a zigzag here. Just going to try to hold it straight. We'll see how that works. It's on a kind of lighter paper, so I want to kind of be careful. That's kind of cute. A little bit crooked but I think it'll be fine that one I thought maybe I could just kind of trim it well that might be okay I think I'm gonna stick a little bit of glue and maybe just glue it to like over here just so it kind of stays that way for the long term on the lace. I don't want it to glue down to my... <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> well, and yeah, whenever we work out of the house, it seems like the second day, especially like work so many hours, you know, or are gone. Because every time we leave, you know, we're driving, I think the other day we drove five hours time, even though we're not, we don't spend that much time actually locating or whatever or working, but we, um, it's almost like you went on a trip, you know, just, yeah, and it's kind of like, it takes you a while to recover from it, especially, you know, the older you get. We used to do that every other day and it was nothing, but now it's not. <laughs> Yeah, it ain't nothing no more. It's or really every day, I guess, for five day. days. Yeah. I told Clint, how in the world did we manage that? Because we were uh, younger. <laughs> that, younger. That's the only way we could have managed it. Because <clears throat> now it's just it takes out so much of us. It does. It's really... That's cute. I kind of like that. It's kind of <clears throat> kind of whimsical and fun. Okay. So let's kind of set that aside. Let me do this one. But yeah, it's just takes a lot out of us, especially just, you know, the driving. We have an 05 Toyota Matrix, and it's got over 600,000 miles on it. Yes, that tells you how much we've driven. And we pretty much got it when it only had, didn't have very much, 20, no. 24,000 or something. Really it was really, took over my mother's payment wow, years and years ago. Two years. Yeah, it was nothing to drive like, yeah, a couple thousand 
miles a day. I mean a week. Horrible. Yep. Thankfully we don't have to do that anymore. Okay, so let's see. I want this one. I think I had it in here. It doesn't really matter. But kind of maybe right through there. That's kind of cute. I like it. I think it's really cute. Just different ways to use up, you know, your scraps. And I haven't made it into a book yet because Clint's got to do the cover. <laughs> Honey. I'll do it for you. <laughs> or I could do it, you know. After my nap. I don't blame you after your nap. And this one, I kind of try to, like, rearrange it so that I have, you know, different, um, kind of have the decorations spread throughout the, the book. How you doing, Clay Girl? So, it's really getting thick. It's kind of fun. So, let me see if I have... I know I have this one. Go ahead and pop that in here. Maybe on this page. I don't know how this would be to write on. So maybe I'll put it on here. Maybe I'll have to move it a little bit. I'm not taking a nap, Chloe. Just so you know. Chloe's like, woohoo, Daddy's taking a nap. Oh, did he? Mm -hmm. He's like, Daddy's taking a nap. Daddy, where's my treats? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there's Chloe, girl. Hi, Chloe. How are you, honey? Yeah, we see her. They see her once in a while. Her tail is seriously almost as long as her body. Yep. Okay, let me see. I don't think I had it in my other one. I think it must have fallen out. See, I'd already forgotten about it. Because I made those fun little tassel things. Hi Chloe, how are you? You okay, sweetie? Chloe's funny. If you don't if you don't love on her before you go to bed, then she wakes you up in the middle of the night and snuggles in and She's loves sweet. on you. She is a very loving little cat. She is. She has to have her her daily love. Hi. Oh, man, what are you she's doing? got an attitude. Yeah, she does have an attitude. <laughs> <That's not good. laughs> I always say she's dab reincarnated man you talk she'll tell you to kiss that fuzzy butt so yeah yeah she's not a uh, she don't mince meows you know exactly what she tells she me. doesn't mince meows no she doesn't <laughs> uh she yeah and she's one who she'll get in front of you and then yell at you for Getting running in her way yeah she does that all the time <laughs> she's like mm-hmm that or she back talks you, and I mean back talks you, and I oh. Clint's like, would you quit back talking to me? And then she's like, meow. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Lizette wrote me. Uh, Chloe looks like Lizette's um, new cat. She just got a, a new little cat, and she wrote me yesterday or the day before and said, Michelle, I know you'd you, you'll appreciate this. She says my cat got into my shit my garden shed and shredded my box of uh, or my bag of topsoil uh. <laughs> i was like yeah I, actually i said sounds like a smart cat <laughs> or a cute cat or something it was like mm-hmm that sounds about right yeah. uh you have to learn definitely lisette to make sure that they have no um no way to get in to destroy Walkers. anything. Yeah. yeah. Don't give them any opportunities or they'll do it. Yeah, they'll do it. So if you don't want it destroyed, you have to make sure they either can't get in the shed or... Yeah. Because if they can, they will. They don't care. Oh, Mommy put this here for me to shred. Sometimes when I'm sleeping, I'll be like, what are they doing? And then they'll have found a piece of paper or something and we're shredding it or, yeah. We try to laugh. Sometimes it's just not all that funny. <laughs> no. But I thought what was interesting is Lisette has bamboo growing in her backyard. And so yesterday or whenever, she was harvesting bamboo 
and was making bamboo shoots to go in Chinese food, which I've never heard of. And, you know, we do a lot of harvesting, and, and I thought that was really interesting, so I kind of want to see how, how it's done, you know, just for my own... I've never seen it, so I thought that was really interesting. I love bamboo shoots. Clint doesn't, but he's not a Chinese food person. No, nope. not at all. <laughs> or Chinese, or Mexican food, no. or... No. So, he, that's just not his, his thing. Nope. He likes, you know, meat and potatoes pretty much. Just plain old food. So we are going to kind of have a um, stir fry today, but it's mainly um, just a bunch of veggies just kind of um, sauteed. It's not like necessarily a sauce or anything. And we actually eat quinoa with it a lot of the time instead of rice if we have it. So right now we have all the, all the goodies. So. We will have to stop by a store tomorrow. We're still still looking for toilet paper, so we're hoping we'll find some. <laughs> I think though they said the first hour or so, hun, is senior senior citizen time. We're not old enough, I tell ya. That's what I mean, though. I I don't know if we can get in, you know, during well, the first hour. Well, yeah. That they open, I don't know. But yeah, so we're trying to. Still working on <laughs> that kind of stuff. I think that's really all we need, though, is just toilet paper. We still have enough. It's just, you know, you're kind of getting down to your last two or three rolls, and you're thinking, hmm, will I find it before we run out? <laughs> Actually, thank you. I was thinking this morning about doing bartering. Okay, I'll do your locate if you give me some toilet paper. <laughs> Yeah, fifty dollars worth of toilet paper, please. They'll be like, mm mm. Nope, nope, nope. It ain't worth it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Well, and you still look on the internet. I did order some on the internet, and it said the first part of May. I'm thinking, oh, okay. So then they did update me that it's going to be like the third week of April. So I'm thinking, okay, do we have enough toilet paper to last until the third week of April? <laughs> We're probably pretty close, actually. I think we are. Because I have some bamboo um, toilet paper that I ordered, and it's not our favorite, but you know. Oh, it sucks. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> okay, guys, so what else do we want to do on this? Let's see. We still have about, what, 20 minutes. Just kind of, let's make some little pockets for here. Kind of decorations. What do I have? I have this bright yellow. That's cute. I'm just using up my scraps. One of my friends, her brother is, she's a local here in her brother's in uh, England, I think, isn't he? Yeah. And he wrote her this morning and said, please take this seriously. And you know what it reminded me of is when um, in the Old Testament, <clears throat> the people, they go to hell and they're like, please just let me, you know, let me go up to heaven and tell my, and I don't know if that's the exact story, but, and tell my friends that they don't want to end up here. And I was thinking, you know, that's what it sounds like. Because she said she never talks to him or anything, and then all of a sudden, she gets a note from him. And I was thinking, you know how devastating it is when, you know, it's it's terrorizing him so much that he's like, I'm going to tell everyone I know. Yep. You know, that's kind of kind of the thing. Sorry, I know I wasn't going to talk about it, but it's kind of hard not to, you. you know, right now. But I was thinking, you know, that is really kind of the same type of thing, you know people from other countries and stuff are, they want to warn us because, hey, it's bad. So, and it's getting closer and closer to home. Okay, I'm missing something. Oh, this, 
what am I doing? But yeah, that was, that was an interesting, interesting thing. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's just cut that piece. Again, this is going to be like our um, secret, hidden secret spot thing. So I'm just making it in miniature. So that will go right there. This one is was too thin, so I'm going to use this. It's kind of help me. Um, Kind of build that up, you know. But I, I have seen where people are like putting hearts all over their windows and um, in Denver I think there's like a little bear hunt so people are putting little um, like stuffed teddy bears in their windows and then as they're out for a daily walk you know staying within social distancing and all that they can find these little bears along the way as they walk and I think that's really cute and they're calling it a bear hunt <laughs> which is so cute oh. yeah because you know Anything to keep up spirits right now. I don't know, one guy's playing with an accordion or something. Oh, he was playing an accordion? For the neighbors, yeah. I saw that and they were like standing at their houses or something. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. That was cute. And then some of my, well, someone shared it on Facebook this morning. Where um, friends, they all piled up and it was, they all brought their own coffee and everything. They got out. And they all sat in their trunks or their, like a hatchback or something, staying, you know, plenty of space away just so that they could visit but not get too close to each other. I thought that was kind of a fun thing. It was kind of like, kind of like a group meeting or a group um, get together, but without, you know, putting themselves in danger. I thought that was kind of a neat idea. Oh, and then the chalk art and other... Oh yeah, Children. chalk art with the hearts and yeah. yeah There's all kinds of really fun things. You just have to, you know, look for the good in the world right now because there's still some ugly, but there always will be ugly, I believe. But there's good out there too. Oh, was that Betty crying? Yeah. So what I'm doing is this, like I said, will be a, a little secret tuck spot. And if you've been with me for a while, you've seen this a lot. But if you haven't, then, and then you can, you pull this out and then you can journal on the back or whatever. And that's cute. And we can decorate that, you know, a little bit more later. But I think it's really cute. I love love putting those. In fact, we have one in each of these. I'll show you my other one here. It's right here and it's going up and down. So let me see what I have. That will fit scrap paper. Are you sneezing today, isn't they, Daddy? Yeah. this piece. Bless you, Bubba. Yeah, let's kind of trim that down. Do it a little bit different. That's cute. I like that. Hi, Bubba. What are you doing? Hard. Come over. I'll go see his daddy. There we go. That's cute. Okay, so now I need a little, little piece. <coughs> well, come on, big. I'm going to use that piece. I'll use this yellow for... <coughs> 
I like to kind of build it up so it's just a little bit um, higher and easier to kind of cover cover the area. <laughs> Bubby's out. He's calling the little ones. They're so funny because you know they say cats don't call to each other. Bubby calls to each, to his cats. When he wants to play, he'll call them, and then you'll look around, and suddenly you'll see. There he is. There he is. You'll see one of the other cats. They'll be like, oh, is he calling me? And then they run in there, and then they start playing. Bubby jumps in the bathtub, and he hunkers down, and then one of the other cats will run in the bathtub, and then he'll jump out and scare them, and then they're come like a game of tag and yeah, <laughs> run through the house. You can hear them coming though, so that's a good thing because usually we're like, mm-hmm, be careful. <laughs> the cats are running through the house. <laughs> that's how we're gonna die. We're gonna trip on a cat. That's what I think. <laughs> that's just the way we're gonna go. Mm -hmm. I know it. <laughs> uh, I have no doubt. <laughs> Oh, uh, too funny. Too funny. Okay, so this one, yeah, that is like perfect, isn't it? Go ahead and, but yeah, the first time he did that, he was screaming, and Clint and I were like, oh my gosh, what is going on? And then we realized that he's just playing. <laughs> just, and the other cats, the, especially the babies, have gotten especially the baby boy, Artie. He has really gotten... Um, his voice. Well, he's gotten his voice, but he, he loves to play with Bubby. He's... Yeah, so when Bubby's crying like that, he's like, oh, is he calling me? And then he runs in there. And then they run through the house yeah. as fast as they can go. <laughs> See, Lisette, you need more than one cat. Yeah. Think how much fun it would be. <laughs> So much fun, huh, Daddy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they're all running, and you have to make sure you're stay out of their way so you don't kill yourself. But at least they can play with each other. They can play with each other, and, you know, if they're not bored, they're not chewing up your uh, potting soil. Just saying. Exactly. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, as long as the oldest one doesn't teach the young and how to do all the bad stuff. Yeah, we do have that too. <laughs> yep. Chloe was funny last night when Clint was in bed. Chloe, we moved um, like a step stool thing and she's having a hard time jumping up into the closet. And so yesterday she was, last night when Clint was asleep, she was crying because she wanted up in the closet. And she finally gets up there, and she's hanging, and she's pulling herself up, and she looks around for like two minutes, and then she jumps down, and all you hear is, oof, Chloe, would you stop it? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> she jumped right on Clint. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't even think you felt, I mean, I'll you knew it was her. Like it that. was so funny. But he's like, really, Chloe? <laughs> Because he was out. He was sound asleep. And it it was really quite humorous. I was like... Oh, I bet. Well, and sh because she... Um, I'm just kind of covering that up. Because she had tried so hard to get up in there. And usually she'll get up in there and she'll go lay down or whatever. So I thought, well, she, uh, you know, will stay up there for a little bit. Nope. She came down. And it's a good, what, 10 foot? I don't know if it's that far. No, not that far, but it's probably six about or, seven. Yeah, six or seven and six from seven. the top of the closet to the bed. And she does that quite often. She'll jump, and man, the whole bed shakes. You know what's so funny? He's like, Chloe! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I was laughing. Oh, I bet you were. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. But yeah, I mean, but she's been want she wanted to get up in there. She has a little place she likes to lay, and so I thought, well, she's gonna lay down. No, not last night. It was quite 
quite humorous. But boy, when she comes sailing, and she's not a little cat. She's no. a pretty, she's a... She's a big girl. She's a big girl, yeah. I might, I might want something there. But man, it was so funny when... And he never even, it was like he never even woke up. It was just like, Chloe! <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. Well, we have, you know, cats like in our roof or whatever. And so, or not cats, but birds. And she's been wanting to check them out, I think. She can kind of hear them from the closet. And so she, uh, ooh, I like that. Just a little bit of decoration to kind of cover up that. But yeah, so she's been wanting to get up there, you know, quite often. Clint's been helping her up there. Because she'll just sit there and cry until she gets up there. But yesterday, she managed by herself. She can jump high. She's a good jumper. So it's like from the ground to the top of where the hang, you know, where the hangers are. So it's it's a pretty good size, pretty good. But man, it was so funny. I was like, oh, she's gonna go lay down. She went to her little spot, and she turned around and jumped. <laughs> it was quite quite humorous. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call this good for today, and then um, I'm liking it. I think it's really fun. And then when Clint finishes the cover, we'll come back, and I'll show you how to, you know, just do a short tutorial on how, you know, maybe we'll start from making the template all the way into sewing it in. Very simple, especially, you know, when they're this tiny, but... Yeah, so, but I hope you guys are staying well. Please stay well. Uh, practice social dis distancing. It's very important right now. And, um, you know, watching us on video is the perfect way to social distance. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like that plug? That was a good plug, babe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.